Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Willis, and you will love economics. Consumer choice is all about marginal utility and marginal cost. As long as the marginal utility gained by consuming the next unit of a good is greater than or equal to the marginal cost of consuming it, the consumer will buy it, allowing the buyer to maximize their utility. But in the real world, it's not that easy. Consumers always have a limited income, which restricts how much they can consume. Consumers can't just keep buying products until the marginal utility of the last unit consumed equals its marginal cost. Instead, consumers must consider their budget and what they can afford, which is likely to limit the quantity of goods and services that they can buy. Think about it. If you're at the grocery store and you're shopping for cereal and milk and you don't have a budget, you could buy as much cereal and as much milk as you wanted or needed until the marginal utility equaled marginal cost. You wouldn't even need to consider the product price or the marginal utility per dollar of each product because your income is unlimited. However, if you only have $10 to spend, you'd have to consider the price per box of cereal and the price per gallon of milk because eventually the total at the checkout stand would exceed your budget. You'd need to make tough decisions about how much cereal and milk you could afford and what combination of cereal and milk would maximize your utility, given your budget. When faced with an income constraint, Consumers must carefully choose how to spend their limited income when buying two or more different goods in order to maximize their utility. Using the marginal utility per dollar of various products will help consumers choose the utility maximization combination of goods and services that fits within their budget. Marginal utility per dollar is the satisfaction gained from every dollar spent in order to purchase each additional unit of a good or service. Marginal utility per dollar can be calculated by taking the marginal utility of each unit consumed and dividing it by the product price. Goods and services that have a greater marginal utility per dollar provide more satisfaction to consumers per dollar spent. In essence, they give more bang for the buck. By using marginal utility per dollar, consumers ensure that they purchase a good with the most bang for the buck and therefore gain the most utility possible given their income constraint. There are a few simple rules to follow when finding the utility maximizing combination of goods and services for a consumer. First, we must assume that the consumer will spend all of their income and cannot exceed their budget. Second, the consumer will only buy the two goods provided. Third, when choosing which good to purchase next, the consumer will always choose the good that provides a greater marginal utility per dollar. Obviously, if the next unit of one good provides more utility than the next unit of another good, a consumer will choose the good that satisfies more needs and wants first. If you follow these rules, you should have no trouble finding the bundle of goods that maximizes a consumer's utility. Let's try it together. Assume that a consumer has a budget of $10 and wants to buy two goods, good A and good B. The consumer wants to spend their entire income and must find the combination of good A and good B within their $10 budget that maximizes their utility. To start, we must calculate the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good A. Using the price of good A and the marginal utility gain per unit, we can calculate the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good A. Next, we must calculate the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good B. Using the price of good B and the marginal utility gain per unit, we can calculate the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good B. From here, the consumer can compare the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good A and good B and find the utility maximizing combination of both goods that fits their budget. At 12 utils per dollar, the first unit of good B has a greater marginal utility per dollar than the first unit of good A. As a result, the consumer will buy the first unit of good B at a price of $2, leaving the consumer with $8 left in their budget. 
at 10 utils per dollar each. The first unit of good A and the second unit of good B has the same marginal utility per dollar. As a result, the consumer will buy the first unit of good A at a price of $1, leaving the consumer with $7 left in their budget. Then the consumer will buy the second unit of good B at a price of $2, leaving the consumer with $5 left in their budget. At 9 utils per dollar, the third unit of good B has a greater marginal utility per dollar than the second unit of good A. As a result, the consumer will buy the third unit of good B at a price of $2, leaving the consumer with $3 left in their budget. At 8 utils per dollar each, the second unit of good A and the fourth unit of good B have the same marginal utility per dollar. As a result, the consumer will buy the second unit of good A at a price of $1, leaving the consumer with $2 left in their budget. Then the consumer will buy the fourth unit of good B at a price of $2, leaving the consumer with nothing left in their budget. The consumer has used their entire $10 budget to buy four units of good B and two units of good A, and has maximized their utility at 96 total utils. Notice a couple of things. First, the consumer spent their entire budgeted income on good A and good B. Second, the consumer purchased more units of good B because the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good B is greater than the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good A. A consumer's utility maximizing combination of goods and services will change if the consumer's budget changes. For example, suppose that the consumer's disposable income increases to $14. With four more dollars to spend, the consumer can buy more of good A and good B and increase their utility. At seven utils per dollar, the third unit of good A has a greater marginal utility per dollar than the fifth unit of good B. As a result, the consumer will buy the third unit of good A at a price of $1, leaving the consumer with $3 left in their budget. At six utils per dollar each, the fourth unit of good A and the fifth unit of good B have the same marginal utility per dollar. As a result, the consumer will buy the fourth unit of good A at a price of $1, leaving the consumer with $2 left in their budget. Then, the consumer will buy the fifth unit of good B at a price of $2, leaving the consumer with nothing left in their budget. The consumer has used their entire $14 budget to buy five units of good B and four units of good A, and has maximized their utility at 121 total utils. A consumer's utility maximizing combination of goods and services will also change if product prices change. For example, suppose that the price of good B increases to $4 and the price of good A increases to $2. Instantly, the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good A and good B decreases because the consumer is spending twice as much as they used to to buy each unit. This means that each unit of both goods has less bang for the buck because the consumer will have to pay more per unit to gain the same marginal utility. Now assume that the consumer has a budget of $10. At six utils per dollar, the first unit of good B has a greater marginal utility per dollar than the first unit of good A. As a result, the consumer will buy the first unit of good B at a price of $4 leaving the consumer with $6 left in their budget. At five utils per dollar each, the first unit of good A and the second unit of good B have the same marginal utility per dollar. As a result, the consumer will buy the first unit of good A at a price of $2, leaving the consumer with $4 left in their budget. Then the consumer will buy the second unit of good B at a price of $4, leaving the consumer with nothing left in their budget. The consumer spent their entire budgeted income on good A and good B, and the consumer purchased more units of good B because the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good B is greater than the marginal utility per dollar for each unit of good A. However, because good A and good B are now more expensive, the consumer is significantly limited in what they can afford, given their $10 budget. Unless prices fall, 
or the consumer's budget increases. The combination of two units of good B and one unit of good A is the utility maximizing bundle for this consumer. And that's utility maximization. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the red button below so you can receive alerts about new videos when they become available. If you enjoy the channel or find my videos useful, let me know by liking the video and feel free to leave a comment below. We have full video lectures on every topic in macro and microeconomics, as well as quick macro and micro minute videos for cram sessions and quick reviews. If you'd like to learn more, you can click here for my income elasticity video, or you can click here for my micro minute video on marginal utility per dollar. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on You Will Love Economics.